We are here with the most premier video game journalists that exist on the planet today. And if you don't like what they have to say, you can kiss their ass. <laughs> there are criticisms that are just levied at game journalists in general. They're not journalists. They're not journalists! What is this video game stuff? What is this video game stuff? We're all journalists, right? In Jeff's case, I mean, Jeff's written for Business 2.0 and Entertainment Weekly and stuff like that, and I write for Newsweek. There's such a lack of investigative journalism. I wish I had more time to do more sort of investigation, really dig into some of these bigger issues because I look at, like, the red ring of death problem. And that's never really been properly reported out about, like, what really happened. Imagine if 30% of all iPods failed. Yeah, that would get covered. You know what I'm saying? Not only that get covered, we would we would know by now yeah. what had happened. But it's like, but that's never reported, right? And why is that? Why do you think that's never reported? Well, because we're great at cover-ups. I mean, come on. What would you, each one of you say is like the biggest scoop you personally felt you you were involved with? Probably this post I did about you know the backstory as to why Sony lost exclusivity of Grand Theft Auto 4. But not, it wasn't actually even just that, it was that and Assassin's Creed. Sony had the opportunity to get both of those exclusive. It sort of slipped through their fingers ultimately right. um, through their own fault, at least by you know, the recording I had. Do you guys get laid a lot more now that you're famous? <laughs> we're not famous though, it's like we're famous to you know, 18 to 34 year old men. I'm just saying. <laughs> I had a funny story, so there was on Gamehead, my Spike show, there was a sort of obsessed fan of mine <laughs> yes. who started uh, writing emails. But then we looked yeah. into it and she's, God love her, but I think she was 15. <laughs> well, there are actually a few game uh, designers and developers out there who wouldn't have a problem with that. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow.